Hey guys, captions. If you just want to get to the tutorial, then go to this timestamp, but otherwise I've got something to say. Captions are a very important part of your YouTube creating process these days because of a few reasons. On Facebook, the average amount of time someone's going to spend watching your video is three seconds. That's how long they generally spend on a video before scrolling down, unless it interests them. One way to get them interested is to have captions on the video so that they will spend time reading the captions to figure out what the video is about. Also, because so many people are on their phones and they're out and about, they don't necessarily want to leave the phone sound on, and so they have to use captions. And if a video doesn't have captions, they'll probably just scroll past it. Fun 15 second story. My boss and I have a bit of a rivalry when it comes to Facebook and Google. I think that Google is probably going to dominate the scene so far as what they create, whereas he thinks Facebook does or will. One reason I would argue that Google's better is because when it comes to captions on videos that you upload, I like YouTube better. Now the reason that I like YouTube rather than Facebook is because when you create the captions, they both put them together automatically, let you edit the result. They both do a fantastic job with this. One thing YouTube has over Facebook, however, is that you can download your captions as a caption file. And that comes real in handy when you want to use that file for other platforms. All the time I'm using captions on YouTube, Facebook, and I'm even throwing them into Adobe Premiere Pro to add them to videos in the actual video. And generally I use YouTube to put these together because there's no way to do it with Facebook. Or so I thought. I was super frustrated because there was a video that I captioned in Facebook not realizing that there wasn't the possibility to actually download the file and use it on YouTube. And I didn't want to go through all the time and effort of redoing the file on, on YouTube. So I got a bit creative, did a ton of Googling, and found nothing, which is why I'm making this video today, because I think I might be one of the few people that's actually figured out that this is a possibility, that you can actually download the Facebook captions. It just takes a little bit of ingenuity. So right now I'm on my public figure page, and I'm gonna scroll down because I uploaded the most recent video that I put together. And as you can see, I've already enabled captions. I haven't actually gone through and done a ton of editing on these captions, so a ton of them are actually really messed up, but it'll work for our example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna edit this post so that I can, act I'm gonna show you that you actually cannot download the captions. So right here you can go to captions and you can select the language, you can choose a backup language and as you can see right here where you manage the captions, you can uh, click on this and um, like it's English auto-generated, it's all published and everything. You can go to the edit thing and there's the option to change the language, there's the option to save it, there's all that, but you can't actually download these captions. Actually, you can though. So what I'm gonna do, uh, first we basically go to any page where this video is present with captions. So it could even be like right here in my edit, or I could go right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, but I'm not gonna right click on the video because it pops up this fake menu. This is like a Facebook menu, I don't want that. I wanna click outside it so I can get this actual uh, browser, Windows drop down, and I'm gonna to go to inspect and this is gonna pop up this thing where I can look at all the code on the website So what I'm gonna actually try to do is find the file the caption file that got generated find where it's housed and then use that so I'm gonna come over here and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click first on this This allows me to click on any part of the page and just like go right to that and then I, I inspect it basically and so now that I know that the place where I am in this uh, file is somewhere pretty close to where the caption file is, because the caption file is right there, I'm gonna hit Control F. And Control F is gonna allow me to search. I'm gonna type something here, I'm gonna search. So I'm gonna just search caption. And right now, the first thing that pops up, and sometimes when I search this, it's not the first thing that pops up, but this time it is because you can see it says captions and then right after that it has a link that says blob colon and then a link. So I'm gonna actually just double click, copy that link and then paste that into my browser. And as you can see, now I have the basic caption file, but this isn't going to let me download this file. That's the first, the first hurdle that we gotta get over is that this is a VTT caption file and we need to save it as one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of this, just gonna scroll all the way down copy the whole thing, press control C, here we go, and then I'm going to come down and I'm gonna open a notes, uh, just a, 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 a regular note in the notepad on my computer. And I'm going to save this, or I'm going to paste it. I'm gonna paste it, but then I need to save it, and I need to save it a certain way. So I'm going to save it as, 
And remember that you're going to do the ANSI encoding, but you're not going to save it as a text file. Do not save it as a text file. It will not work that way. You're going to select all files and you're going to save it. So you want to do some random name. So like I'll do Ryan caption and I'm going to do dot VTT because remember up here in this, we'll go scroll up. It says web VTT. So you're going to save it as a dot VTT file. And so we're going to just save that on the desk. Actually, I'll save it in my uh, documents. Uh, there we go. And then when we go ahead and open that up, we'll go over to documents and then Ryan caption dot VTT. And there we go. And it won't let me open it because it doesn't realize what it is. Um, so I'll just uh, open it in notepad. There we go. It opens just like a note would because it, it, that's what it is. It's, it's just basically text. But now that I've saved it as that, and just as a side note, you can save files as an SRT file. There are other types of captions, but because this is the type that Facebook uses, you can't use it as such. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to YouTube, and I'm gonna just prove that this works if you want to take this caption file and save it somewhere else. So I'm gonna come to my Creator Studio, and I'm going to go to the video that I actually got this from because I haven't actually captioned this video yet. It's got automatic captions, but say I wanted to put my own captions that I put together in Facebook. So I'm going to come over to this. I'm going to just click on English and then upload a file. And I'm going to select subtitles file, choose file, go to documents and then find the Ryan Matlock. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Okay. There we go. Upload. And what it's going to do, it's going to say this transcript may contain additional formatting that can get lost if it's overwritten. And I'm going to explain that. I think what that is, is that this has a specific thing in Facebook. It says size 90%. All of them are scaled down to 90%. And I think that's because when Facebook has their captions, they have them formatted a certain way so that there are certain size that works with everything. And when you put it into YouTube, YouTube translates that into just regular captions that aren't scaled in any way. It's something that you can do in a VTT file, but that YouTube doesn't really need. So they get rid of that. So that's all that happens there. You hit publish and you're done. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I know that I would have loved to have stumbled across a video like this myself because honestly, I would really like the option to use the Facebook captions, download them as a file, use them in Adobe Premiere Pro. That's another thing you can do. You can upload captions, just drag it right into a timeline and the captions are all there, uh, pre-formatted for you. You can edit them. It's really nice, but you can't do it if you don't have the file. And currently YouTube's the only uh, player here that I know of where you can actually download the file after creating it. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and do all the things YouTubers tell you to do. Until the next video, stay classy.